Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Polar Bridge. Today, I'm going to do some workshops, so it's a workshop video. It's been a while since I've played those, and I got some suggestions for people, from people, like, that I should play very levels, so let's go ahead and play one. So we have a jump level here, and we need to touch that one. We have some anger points spread out toward like over here on the rocks and some here we have a 10 road how much is 10 road like how far can i go with 10 road and i sensing it's like a bit of lag or something so let's turn off some programs which are going in the background make it all better all better so now i have four road i wonder how far I can jump with the road amount I use right now. Let's let's just have some wooden trusses. I think I think the things underneath the bridge is called truss. So let's build some of those. Let's place them underneath like this and connect them all. So this will be some kind of epic jump as well, I feel like. Where you have to do a landing. And on most most jump levels you just skip the landing part and I have a huge budget a huge budget the road is just exploding let's reinforce it with steel we have the money so we can do it without any trouble whatsoever Still breaks a bit. Let's just redo, redo a lot of this into steel. The mighty steel. The second most strongest material in the game, but the strongest that can do both compression and tension. So volume material that's pretty useful. Usually in all circumstances, it's hard. Not the greatest jump. We had some weird springiness on the end, so let's build up a new curve and see if that's better. That's a lot better. I actually have an idea. So we don't want the bridge to break. Of course not. So, if we have the car... Hit the rock first. Then most of its kinetic energy will, will be gone. And that's not good. Not good at all. Okay. We can stop that by probably doing something like this. That should stop its movement. Word. It stopped it, alright. Remove the grid, move it down a bit. We needed to not break. Then we needed we also needed to hit the checkpoint. So now it hit this point. The question is Oh we can't place a road inside it. Can we do the rest of the way with only four road? I don't know. It's interesting to having a jump level where we have a checkpoint like this. I like that idea. Then we will most likely need to have a jump here as well. Give it a lost place and... To make it stronger we need to have it do something like this here. It will probably fail because I think the car touches the water. That went a lot further than last time. This time it broke, okay. So it's doing random things each and every time. So let's slow it down and see how it looks and what moves and all that stuff. Car goes down. So there. 
it bounces here. If I change the angle, I might remove the bounce. And I think the bounce would be good to be re removed. So now, no bounce. No bounce whatsoever. Let's see if that helps any. Or if it doesn't, that helps a lot. The car goes, the car flies, and it goes over the star and straight through the road. Okay, let's see what happens if we do that. Now when we have a stronger bridge, but not getting destroyed, it might fly longer, or it will fly longer, but maybe not far enough. Hmm. Did it fail because it touched water here, or did it fail because it touched water on that side? That's the question. Yeah, okay, it's failed because it touched water on that side. Now it's clear, but I will try again with a stronger piece of road. Okay, so it fails because of that. Okay. The angle seems to be pretty good there. So just build a little piece of extra road here. Connect. Hmm. It like that. This should work pretty good. Get a bit of extra. It breaks, so change the angle. Still breaks. Okay, change the angle again and just make it the same angle more or less. Still breaks. Why? Okay, please stop breaking. Oh, did I have it before? I had it like that. Okay. So now, now nothing breaks. It jumps too far. Lower this one. Will anything break now? No. Good. So I fixed a bit of a breaking problem. So that's great. We'll just have to fix. The aiming and the landing. Huh. That seemed to work. So will that work? The minute. Nope. That. Nope. That. Nope. That. Really? Yes. Okay, we have this thing here, so connect it, reinforce all of the road. Road has been reinforced. Still breaks. Let's slow it down here. We see the car. It lands where? Okay. So it didn't, actually, we didn't fail, I think. Because uh, it hits the water quite a lot here, so it could fail because of that, but I don't think it did. I wonder if any other people have solved this level, and if so, how their solution looks. And if they're non-breaking, I'm, th I'm thinking most people are probably using breaking solutions for this level. Just my little guess. Nice! That was cool and good. And pretty darn amazing. So it fails because it hits there. Can we have a road here? But it makes it not crash down in water like that. Something just died. Good. Connect here, up there, 
Oh, this, this part got removed. Like a lot of stability went with it. Didn't mean to do that. And at first I will do the solution over budget and then make it under budget. If I can. Hopefully I can. I need to see what it's doing here. There are the cars incoming. Car goes on the star. Okay. Not the best. It die. It hits the water here, or yeah, the water here, and that makes it loose. And I don't think we can stop it with a car. But that's a bad angle. It's a horrific angle, actually. What? I need to see that again. Okay, the nose hits it. The back goes, and that thing... Goes. And now I lose because it went down in the water. So we have a water problem. I hope that a person who solved this level solved this without anything breaking because I, it didn't say anything about needing breaking solution, but that. That looks promising. All that spinning? That's pretty good. Let's just see if we can catch it and have it jump forward even more. Almost connected red to red there, and you never need to do that. Or, or never, never is wrong because sometimes you have to do. Oh, just thinking. Okay. I want to see it slowed it down. The thing is, when you click, th think you have three hundred percent, and you don't. Okay, car goes here, bounces, and gets destroyed in this area. Okay, will that help any? Probably not. No, nope. it did not. Hmm. I will stop the video here and try to figure it, or stop recording here and try to figure it out, out of camera and see how it works. So be back soon. Okay, I just want to show this because that was cool. Okay, it didn't work this time. Let's see if it works the next time. Nope, it only worked when I didn't show you guys. There, good, that was cool. I like this. But back to silent. So we have progress. It jumps and nothing breaks there. Sometimes it broke, so I tried to fix or look what happened. But I didn't find anything, or I didn't see anything the lot the times I looked for it. But this doesn't break. It's perfect. So now I just need to build a jump here at the end. And we should be fine. There shouldn't be anything that gives it a lot of stress or anything like that here in this area. So I just do some fun connections like that. Yeah, this looks pretty darn good. Let's see if it works. 
Now we heard of a breaking. But we solved it with the breaking. Let's see if it can do it without breaking and if it breaks here. Okay, that one breaks. So that one. I might be able to just add steel there to remove that stress. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, that changed its properties quite a lot. Let's see if we can do a little diamond here. And see if that changes its properties. Okay, that one breaks. Let's see what happens if we make that one a diamond. It's hard when you use the bounds of a bridge to reinforce it. Because when I do this, the bounds changes. And I don't like when the bounds change. Okay. That's new. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah. Is this better? No, it's not. Okay. Oh. It worked, but no, it doesn't. Erg. Good. That happens now. Okay, and so now I need just to get it fine-tuned again to a perfect spot. And that's not the perfect spot. Nope. This irritates me when this happens. That could work, maybe? It might. Here we don't have the spring problem. So we can just reinforce everything like this without any worries. We have a lot of money left. And this thing is annoying me. Good, now it's close to the wall. Goes, nothing breaks, good. Car lands. And it flips over. It flips over. Damn it. Can we do it so it doesn't flip over? I don't know how really, but I would like to. That just made it worse. Okay. So, change the angle just a smidge here. And see how that works. Nope. A bit of other way. And I will do this off camera for a bit. Okay, so I got it to work in another way, or at least don't break an impact anymore, again. <clears throat> and this time I have here a gap in the road. Let me zoom in on it. You see here, there's no road there. So I have one extra road that I can use in this area for anything I want. It looks like that one breaks, so I can just reinforce it and see what happens. Good! It worked! And I should not do that. I should have a gift of a whole thing. The problem with 
jump levels is that they're usually really big. And now it's starting to break all of a sudden. Uh, stupid bridge. That time it didn't jump as high as it needed to. But I have one road extra so I could fix that if that would be a problem. But I it fixed itself. So yeah, I will upload this one here. And I think this is a good length of a video. I don't know how long it will be after editing, but it took some time to fiddle around with everything. So I think this will be all. If you like this video, like it if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.